Just as a reminder, there is a hidden MTGA code in every single video, and it's first come, first serve. All of these codes contains a cosmetic, a pack, or a card. So make sure to watch the videos and also like, comment, and subscribe if you would like more content. Please don't be able to do six extra damage. Please don't do four extra damage. Please don't have two skewer the critics. Yes! It's only one spell. Please don't have a shock. Spear melts frenzy. Woo! Fuck yeah, I'm taking that. You're out of your goddamn mind if you think I'm not taking that. Just in case. I worry. I worry. Did they get it? Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? Fucking esports. God damn it. Oh, yeah. No. It's like, if you look at this deck, right? The, the one we were just playing. We have Karuga still, um, so it's a companion to where all your starting deck only contains cards with the converted mana cost three or greater, which is mostly fine. Um, so when it enters battlefield, you draw a card for each other card that's a permanent that's three mana cost or greater that you control. Um, so essentially we have Elvish Rejuvenator that puts more lands on the battlefield, which is great. Doesn't feed anything to the graveyard, but it's still fine. Um, Gift of Paradise, this gains us life, which helps against aggro. Chromatic Lantern, this fixes all of our mana problems. Shatter the Sky, again, great against aggro. Tamiyo, all of our recursion and uh, feeding the graveyard comes from that. Um, Karn, this enables us to have a sideboard full of artifacts, which is good. Cavalier of Thorns, this also feeds our graveyard like crazy. Uh, Underrealm Lich, this is pretty good. It feeds our, not only does it also feed our graveyard, it lets us get the proper card that we want in our hand. I actually kind of like that. Um, but we're also able to pay a bunch of life. So if our life total is divisible by four and we have Platinum Angel on the battlefield, at the beginning of our turn, we can go down to zero life and then once we have access to mortality on the field, we swap life. So it's like a three card combo where it's five mana, six mana, and seven mana, right? So it's it's super easy to get, right? It's really easy. Access, access of mortality just enables us to swap life with an opponent. Uh, it is targetable, so if they have Shalai, it doesn't really work that well. Uh, Ruinous Ultimatum, this just blows up their entire fucking board, which is phenomenal. Uh, Eerie Ultimatum, this just brings a bunch of shit back from our graveyard, and that's why we're kind of only running uh, two and three of everything, um, except for our ramp cards. Our ramp cards are really, really good. Uh, and Cavalier of Thorns, we use that because it feeds our graveyard, so we were running four of them. Um, and they're not legendary. The reason we're only running two... Oh, the Unrealm Liches aren't legendary. Actually, we should probably go down a Cavalier of Thorns, maybe, and throw in the Underrealm Lich. I don't know if that really helps. But we have a bunch of single lands here, uh, which is also great because we have Field of the Dead. So when we bring it back a bunch of stuff from Aerial Ultimatum, we just have a shit ton of individual lands that we can get into the battlefield and create a bunch of zombies, which is just like an alternate win condition. Um, but in the sideboard, we have Ember Cleave, which we actually use. It's pretty sweet. We just throw it on one of our other creatures, like Karuga. Uh, would Command the Dread Horde be good? Yeah, we actually had Command the Dread Horde in the other version that we made. That ended up being super shitty. Yeah. So I think we would have to have more creatures than what we do if we were using Command the Dread Horde. Um... Maybe not, but it's also really hard to do that because we have to be able to get Karn down 
as Platinum Angel is in our sideboard. We have nothing in main board. And I don't really like that. I think having at least one main board is necessary just so we can get it into our graveyard at some point in time. Because being forced to put down a Karn and then um, use or waste the minus two to get the Platinum Angel is sometimes not good. We're gonna get this to fucking work, chat, okay? Good, good, you. Yeah. I'm good. Although, I feel like I feel like the stream has gone on a lot longer than it normally is. Seven hours, 59 minutes. It's Taco Hero. Oh my gosh, tacos sound delicious. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. And rock flag something. That's a long ass stream. Yeah, I don't normally stream that long. I'm starting to get kind of hungry, but I think I could probably do a few more events. Depending, depending on how good it starts to do. We may go a little bit crazy with this. I think we can get something. I think we can get something. Sure. We're gonna get a bunch of lands. Yes, we will take that. Ugh, okay. Uh oh. Feel like I need to restart magic. It's like being all weird. It's like dropping frames. Ugh. Cool. You got it. And I think this is still perfectly fine for me to throw down another rejuvenator. Yeah, I think that's perfectly fine. Force them to discard a card. And then I can clear it up with a shatter. Ouch. Okay then. Okay then. Shatter will be nice, yes. I am... I'm hurting. But it's pretty nice. Um... I might legitimately... No, Eerie Ultimatum seems like a waste. Uh, I think we can Cavalier. And yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So now I believe we are in an okay position. Got it. So now is when I Eerie Ultimatum. You got it. Oof. This is actually kind of juicy. Actually kind of juicy. Um, I don't know if I trust that enough. Um, kind of, well... Yeah, 
You think I should just get Ember Cleave? Yeah. So I'm gonna swap life with him, and then I'm gonna swing in with Ember Cleave. How do you like Ember Cleave right back at you, you son of a bitch? Why would I play Karuga first? This is a horrible hand. Oh, that was so close. We keep this, right? Do we keep this? Is this a Strider Keep? We have a Scry Land, why not? We have a Scry Land. There's no way this could end poorly. Yeah, okay. We have, we have ramp now. We have ramp. See? Everything went better than expected. Hey, Wishclaw Talisman. Pretty sweet. I'll take that. Now I don't have another untapped land, so I can't play my Lich or my Cavalier of Thorns, which is very unfortunate, to say the least. That's actually kind of nice. All right, they have Fave Wishes and Wishclaw Talisman. That is kind of cool. Bolus. Bolus, eh? Bolus, eh? Oath of Tefri, eh? This is not healthy for us. Huh. Well, Ruinous Ultimatum is going to be pretty spicy here. Yeah, Ruinous Ultimatum is going to be really nice. So I have to keep that over everything else. Um, worst case scenario... Huh? What do they get a Karn? It's if you survive, I know. Yeah. Is that ult? Is that infinite now? Yeah, that's infinite. Yeah, that's infinite. Dang it! Yeah, that sucks. We we're so close. What up, Senecus? What's going on, Captain Love? Mm. Mr. Crow. That was pretty sweet. Ah, damn, we were so close, too. We were close to being able to win that.
This is good because we have ramp to be able to get the... Yeah, he's going infinite. Alicid. Another Alicid. Hmm. All right, dude. I kind of almost just want a Tamio for a Cavalier of Thorns, but I may just Karuga. I only drop one card from it. I think I do Tamio. And get a Cavalier of Thorns. Okay. It was a lot of lands. We just dodged a lot of lands. Shatter. There's a Ruinous Ultimatum. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it was all land and one Ruinous Ultimatum. Two, three, four, five. So it's five. My Tamio stays alive, which is cool. No one asked for your input. Hmm. I know, I know. Shatter the sky. Dang it. There was the shatter. Yeah, they're gonna have to open swing at the Tamio again. Um, because if they don't swing with the Alisades, then um, Tamio just lives. Uh, they could actually sacrifice one of the Alisades to the Daxos to give it protection from green. Ooh. Okay, they keep one back. I'm definitely killing one of them. A hundred percent. Yeah. I have learned all I can here. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. I'm bringing you back, Tamio. You're getting me a ruinous ultimatum. Okay. Let us have a story we have stuff. On, on two lands? We have a couple lands. Yeah. We have a couple lands. I paid two life to flex on him. Karn, get that immortal son. That's funny. I follow the tracks of the wise. I follow the tracks of the wise. It's a big true. Establishing dominance through self-harm. Nope. Big god pharaoh statue. Yeah. Opponent surrendered. See, this is almost more of just my other deck, just less good. And in fact, it is just in general less good. Because the other one has like Ley Line of the Void and um, has Ley Line of the Void with. Holy shit. Fall of the Thran. So it's fantastic. Space Unicorn! 
sweet name opponent. Big fan of space unicorns. Fucking sideways monkeys, though. Not a fan of sideways monkeys. Or lizards. I hate lizards. Alright, so next turn we throw down a Karuga. Just as a blocker. Simply put. Alright, so they get the Lava Runner. The fucking lizards, I know, right? Alright, so we draw one card from Karuga. It's not the worst thing, but it's not great. Ah, okay. So they waste a lot of resources on it. I can't quite Eerie Ultimatum and bring that back. Can they do 10 damage to me? I'm hoping not. I'm hoping not. Please don't be able to do six extra damage. Please don't do four extra damage. Please don't have two skewer the critics. Yes. It's only one spell. Please don't have a shock. Spear melts frenzy. Woo! Fuck yeah, I'm taking that. You're out of your goddamn mind if you think I'm not taking that. I'm going for Ruinous Ultimatum. He'll switcheroo! Now do they go for the Tamio since they know we have Shatter this guy now? Um, uh, Ruinous Ultimatum. It's a lot of shit in the graveyard. I think I do this just simply for blockers. The moon looks intriguing tonight. Yeah. Let's do it. They mentally gave up. They kind of had to. Oops. 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 Oh, hold on. I know we got down to four. <laughs> Oops, I did it again. I don't know how we pulled it off. But we, uh, no ramp. I hate keeping with no ramp, but it's still a really good hand. Baby, hit me one more time. Oh, All right. We haven't gone against Gruel. Oh, and we're on the draw against Gruel. We get to turn four shatter this guy, but that's the best we can do. Six, seven, eight, nine. If they have a shock or another fasty boy, we're dead. 
or an Ember Cleave, or fucking anything in their deck. Yeah. Yep. Sounds about right. At least it was a fast game. At least it was a fast game. Roll was the best deck to farm cards. Yeah, it's it is a lot. Whisker sixty six. Oh yeah. The beard stroke. Well, thank you for redeeming. Thank you for spending time in the channel. Yes, rest the fibers. <gasps> what up, Zach? Ooh. Okay, this is not really that great. Pickle bucket. I really hope it's not Gruel again. Um, I don't even know if I Lantern or not. Because Lantern will get bounced by their Tefri. Um, I don't know if Gift of Paradise does. I guess it kind of depends. Alright. So they went aggressive with it. So I think I can just Underrealm Lynch. Okay. So they bounce the lantern. Do I get... Get a Cavalier of Thorns. Or not. Here goes nothing. I enjoy Jank. I am glad you enjoy Jank. Me too. Well. Hmm. This might be a bad idea. Let's skip to I won't hide from the what? world. Any Opponent longer. has a pile of like 80 cards, but not running. That's weird. They're not running Yorion, but they had 80 cards. Stand by and watch. Failed that companion placement in D4. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. Let's try this. Hold that thought. Two, three, four, five. Hmm. Ah. Well. Thing broke. This card a card? Sure. Okay. Well, let's see what we get out of this. You know what? I'm, I'm not done yet. yet. I've got time. 
Um, I think... Caval well, I don't think. Um, Cavalier is way better than Golos in this particular instance because um, Cavalier fuels our graveyard. And that's what we need. So, hopefully they don't have a counter. They didn't have a counter. That's good. We will meet again. I must train harder. All right. Just copy pasta to deck and then hit play. Oh, he's going to get one of my thingamajigs. Tefri and bounce his Elspeth. Oh, bounce one of those. Okay. So we can still eerie ultimatum. It doesn't really give us much. But does he get the lantern or the lich? Okay, he gets the lich. Here we go. Huh. I have Tamio and I can get back the ruinous ultimatum. So I can eerie ultimatum this turn, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So I can eerie ultimatum. Uh, get back my Tamio and then down tick my Tamio for Ruinous Ultimatum. Oh, it's one mana shy. One mana shy. Yeah, yeah. I counted wrong. I thought I said nine, but apparently I didn't have nine. So this will give me two cards. So give me zero cards. No two. Still trigger. You need an untapped ultimatum. Yeah. If you show remorse, I we need to move quickly. Okay. So Eerie actually gets us back a lot of shit now. Attach gift to that, and are tapped. It's a good turn. It is an honor to meet it's a good turn. We like it. Ruinous ultimatum. Yep. The past is never forgotten. So we're gonna throw in one of those, one of those, one of those. Okay, bring back your shit. So Got it. Mysteries. Opponent hasn't countered anything yet, and that worries me a lot. Ah, Shark Typhoon. 
so I need to get my car in immediately. I'll protect you. Got it. No time for a break. They're just tap out Esper. That's kind of what it looks like, but who plays tap out Esper? Two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They're gonna have to get a lot of damage. They were unable to get a lot of damage. Yeah. Yeah, see, this is just literally a shittier version of the land destruction one that we have. It's just not good. Comparatively, it's not good. Although, I kind of like the Karn in this. I do kind of like the Karn. Um, I don't know if it works as well with the Axis of Mortality, because I really like the Angel being main deck so that I can get her into the graveyard. I think that's really important. Now, do I gift paradise or do I rejuvenate her? I guess we just rejuvenate her. We're gonna have four mana next turn guaranteed anyway. Damn. That was two of our Tamios. We only have one more. So that's quite unfortunate. Um I think we Karn for a lantern and kill that Uro. I am Karen. I am Karen. Fuck that. Thank you. It's mine now. Um, and then, what do I do with, what do I get with Karn? I have no idea what I get from Karn now. Two, three, four, five. So this doesn't actually affect it. I mean, I could just Chaos Wand. Yeah, it's gonna hold priority for everything. But that's kind of fine. So now I can Karuga and draw a bunch of cards. Um. Yeah. Get the arrow. Okay, so now I'm actually kind of thinking I shatter the sky. If I get an untapped land, I can actually shatter and then Karuga, which is not the worst. Let's 
It's not a bad idea. But I definitely have to shatter at this point. Value? Yeah. Jesus, that was loud. We exile it after they choose, so nothing happens. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so after they choose, then we exile it. Man, I really wish Spyglass actually affected that Field of the Dead. Do we just have to shatter again? I think we have to shatter again. At least this time we can Karuga afterwards. At least this time we can Karuga afterwards. Oh my god. The game is trying to kill me. Okay, we get to draw three cards? Four. This is Karn. Right, so they're permanents? Okay, cool. Alright. I actually think maybe I should have kept that to cycle it. Cavalier of Thorns. Yeah, I mean, we know that two Tamios are at the bottom four of our deck. I think this is fine. I think this is fine. And then we do that. Thought about doing Gift of Paradise, but I think a blocker is okay here too. Because I'd rather block the 5 6 and the 6 6. Let's try to get some other stuff off the top and just hope it's not. Okay. All right. Yep. 
so you get to make three more. Uh, maybe I should have access to mortality. I don't know. By a blocker, don't you want to get damaged? Well, I don't want to die. Well, yeah, actually. I can die because Platinum Angel. I forget. I don't know why I forget things. Yeah. But they're going to bump that to seven. So you know what we do? Do you know what we do this turn? So we Karn for a Spyglass, by the way, and we just name uh, Blast Zone. Um, but we also know that they have Maelstrom Pulse. That's two of them that we've gotten. I can only assume they have more. I worry. Got it. My purpose is greater than myself. Last zone. Okay. Got it. Now I think they have to swing at the carn again. Just in case. I worry. I worry. Not bad. Okay. Yeah, trade the opponent negative life total. Exactly. What's going on? Hi, guys. How you doing? We're so close. Again, I was just worried that he has removal because we know they have removal. They ha we they've already been two maelstrom pulses, but they can still kill us even with seventeen of those. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have kept that. I probably shouldn't have kept that. Um, they're probably going to disfigure their own creature. Ooh, I should have let that happen. They're going to disfigure their own creature. 
Oh no. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, I almost had a tiny bit of a heart attacky. Tiny bit of a heart attacky. Yeah, not exactly. No reason to interact with it. What up, cheesesteak? You're just back at that angel anyway. Just a tiny bit. Yeah. Okay. Um. Is 36 divisible by 4? Somebody do math. Damn, 9. Easy. Easy. One more turn. <laughs> One more turn. Pog. 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 Is everyone ready? Is everyone ready? Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. I mean, he's doing it for us. So it doesn't matter. Alright. If they just top decked a Maelstrom Pulse... Okay. They still have a chance with, uh... Yeah, with that. Did they get it? Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? Fucking esports. God damn it. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, that was bullshit. That was fucking esports. Oh my god. Oh, that was fucking hilarious. Jesus. That was such a tight battle. 12 to 2. Fucking, of course we had fun. <laughs> Basically, anytime you lose, it's fun for me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd be livid if I lost to a top deck. They drew like three or four cards, though. And they had a bunch left. Well, they only had eight cards left. And they only, they only had two Maelstrom Pulses, so I don't know if they were running four Maelstrom Pulses, or if they were just running three, but they only had two in their graveyard. So the chances of them getting one when they draw three or four cards is pretty fucking high. <laughs> As viewers. What's up, Diz? Yo, what up, YouTube? Yeah, we going here, Strider. <laughs> Come on. You didn't really think that I was that type of person, did you? Thank you, everyone, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you were even a little bit entertained by this video, please make sure to let me know down below. And if you have anything that you would like to see next, go ahead and leave that there, too. And make sure to check out my live stream five days a week, every day except Sunday and Thursday. Stream times down below.